Have you ever looked at the Paint the Town Dianthus and thought to yourself, God, they look so similar. I really do wonder what the differences are between the plants. Welcome to Garden Crossings, I'm Heidi, and today we are gonna talk about the Paint the Town series of Dianthus and just show you side by side here out in the greenhouse the difference in the coloration of each of the plants. So the Paint the Town series Dianthus are a great low growing ground cover. They get about six to eight inches tall when they're in flower. And as the plant uh, ages year after year, the clump just continues to get larger and larger. We've got some great photos will pop up on the screen out in the trial gardens so you can just see how beautiful these things are in the spring when they start to bloom. The other beautiful thing with the Paint the Town Dianthus is they're rebloomers. So they bloom early spring, uh, they bloom late spring, early summer, and then you give them just a light little trim, get rid of some of those dead flowers, and they'll continue to flower throughout the summer. So it's a great plant that gives you longevity of color throughout the season. They're hardy in zones four to nine, so pretty much probably most of you that are watching right now, you would land within that hardiness zone. And it's just, they're very fragrant too. So if you're looking for a fragrant, bold splash of color, the paint, the town dianthus are super. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the different varieties here in this block. Uh, we've got a couple different blocks. We've got right here, off in the distance, you'll see a bunch of bright splashes of color. That's another planting that we did about a month later um, because we like to kind of cycle the plantings through so we always have stuff fresh and new coming. But anyways, let's look right here and take a closer look into each of these varieties and show you the different flower colors. The first variety we're seeing here, this is the Paint the Town Fancy. I really like this variety. It's a beautiful bright pink bloom with that nice magenta eye. I think it's just really stunning out in the landscape. And I really like that there's that two-tone coloration going on with the flowers. The next here in the grouping is the Paint the Town Fuchsia. And Paint the Town Fuchsia actually has a little bit more of those purple undertones in it. A uh, nice flower, they're about the size of a quarter, maybe just a little bit bigger than a quarter, but more of that purple undertones. Next here in the grouping, we have the Paint the Town Magenta. Paint the Town Magenta is just that. It's a bright magenta pink colored bloom, really stunning when planted in mass. And last in the Paint the Town series is Paint the Town Red. And I'm gonna say this cautiously because its name is Paint the Town Red, although I am seeing a lot of pink undertones. So if you're looking for a bright fire engine red, this is not that color. Um, but again, it's a very bright, bold, stunning color. So we'll go ahead and do kind of an overview, kind of showing you all of them side by side, just to kind of give you that little bit of a comparison from one to the next to the next. So we started off with Fancy, went to Fuchsia, then we had magenta, and then paint the town red. Hopefully this side-by-side -side comparison helps kind of answer any questions that you have as far as in relation one to the other, what they exactly look like. I know to me when I look at a picture, sometimes things look very similar, but when you put them side-by-side, -side, the differences really do stand out. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.